A few days ago, on July 3rd, the Center for Strategic and International Studies, or CSIS, reported that Cuba is constructing a new radar facility, which is believed to be linked to the Chinese government. Construction of the facility began last March in the eastern city of Santiago de Cuba. CSIS added that, once completed, it will become a powerful tool to monitor U.S. military signals. The center analyzed satellite images of the radar facility, which has an antenna device about 130 to 200 meters in diameter. According to the research team, the radar facility can track signals from 5,500 to 15,000 kilometers. Beijing's access to the radar site will allow the force ruling China to eavesdrop on the U.S. naval station in Guantanamo Bay, just 73 kilometers east of Santiago. The Wall Street Journal reported on the CSIS study. However, Cuban Vice Foreign Minister Carlos Fernandez de Cosio denied that the Chinese regime had any involvement with the radar base, according to Reuters. He stated that the Wall Street Journal, without citing a verifiable source or showing evidence, it seems to scare the public with tales about Chinese military bases that do not exist and no one has seen, including the U.S. Embassy in Cuba. On July 2nd, a U.S. State Department spokesman refused to comment on the CSIS report, but said U.S. officials were closely monitoring China's presence in Cuba. They said, We know that the PRC, the People's Republic of China, is going to keep trying to enhance its presence in Cuba, and the United States is going to keep working to disrupt it.